Are you finding yourselves in the possession of a premature manifestation? Does it feel like you got part of what you want, but it's not quite there yet? Well, if that's you, you are not alone. This question was asked in my Facebook group, Black Moon Society, and this whole week's videos are about questions coming straight from my Facebook group. And today we are talking about what to do if you are in what I like to call the blending period, where you're getting part of your new manifestation mixed with a little bit of the old manifestation. That's what we're discussing in this episode of Roxy Talks. Stay tuned. What is up my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you'd like to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching so we can discuss your specific issues, you can sign up at roxytalks.com. We've also got exclusive merch, the Roxy Talks podcast, blog, and more at roxytalks.com. And of course, that link is in the description below. So a premature manifestation. This is my new favorite term. This is something that one of my clients said in a session and it made me totally cackle and crack up, but I was like, ah, what a funny term. I love it because, hey, I get it. I've said before, we want bread. We don't want to eat dough, okay? We want to wait till the thing is fully cooked. We don't want hot water and coffee grounds. We want coffee, okay? We are going to allow our manifestations to fully brew before we drink it or fully bake before we take it out of the oven because we don't want that partial stuff. No, we want the full manifestation. We want it all the way. Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they're in complete control of their reality. Now, I've talked about this blending period before. I was using the analogy of Team Pink Shirt. So everything that we want that's in alignment with where we're going is like Team Pink Shirt. Everybody that's on my team needs to be wearing a pink shirt. That's how I identify you. That's how I affirm yes, 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 more of you, everybody on board and anybody that's not team pink shirt, if it doesn't align with where I'm going or the manifestations that I am working on right now or the life that I am creating for myself, the life that I am selecting, if it's not part of that, then it's team blue shirt. It's none of my business. It's the other team. I'm not even looking at the other team. I'm keeping my nose down. I'm staying in my own lane. I'm paying attention to my team. I'm doing what I need to do to make my world happen the way I want it to go. So if it's not team pink shirt, it's team blue shirt. It's none of my business. I'm not paying attention. However, if I'm in the position where I am trying to maybe take someone from blue team and bring them over to pink team, I'm going to be doing a little bit of energetic selecting with my manifestation and I'm going to be changing my opinion on somebody who I think is team blue shirt, meaning somebody who I think doesn't align with what I'm doing. So let's just say that this is a person, this is your specific person and it's an ex. This is our most common example, right? Okay. So our ex, the current way they are, their flaws, the way they've treated us, the things they did wrong, the third party they went to, the cheating they did, the leaving us that they have committed, whatever. All that old backstory, all that shit is team blue shirt. Old news, not my business, not my team. I don't care about team blue shirt, okay? So old SP, old specific person is team blue shirt, okay? It's old news, none of my biz, don't want it, don't need it, not even gonna give it a second of my attention. New SP or ideal SP, the version of them that we want, this is team pink shirt. This is the idea of them that we're creating. This is hopes, wishes, dreams, and prayers because this is kind of just an idea. It's not really tangible yet. We can't grasp it with our hands. It's not really real. The way we hold on to it is through our thoughts. It's through conception. So it takes mental focus to stay holding on to team pink shirt version of this person if we've already manifested team blue shirt. Okay. Because here's the thing about team blue shirt. It's already here. This one is strong. This one's easier to get to because this one... I know really well. This one I have history with. This one's made me feel a certain way. This one left me high and dry after six years. This one, yada, yada, yada. This one, see it, taste it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it. We know what this one is like. We've been there. We've done it. We got the damn t-shirt. We hate the t-shirt. We're still wearing it. We don't like it though. So we want to take off that blue shirt and we want to put on team pink shirt. We want to put that pink shirt on so bad, right? But, but we're not offering a clear signal, are we? That's a big problem. Because like I've said, you can meditate, 
You can script, you can affirm, you can do all of the techniques that you want, but if you come out of your meditation sessions and you talk about how it really is, how they haven't called you, how no matter what you do, they still don't get it and they still won't put you first, that's where your truth is at and that's where your manifestation lies. So if you're doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, I got news for you. This one's going to win out. And here's why. This one is stronger. Remember, this one's already here. This one has already been manifested. This one is easy to get to. Because remember, I can think all the amazing things I want about this person, view them as the happy, healthy, whole version of them, only doing good things, knitting sweaters for cats, saying nice things about me, only having eyes for me, yada, 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 whatever it is I want from this one. But the second I decide, ugh, but there he is looking at someone else's Facebook picture. Old one right back in, right? This one's easy to get to. It's real easy when they're right there. They're already here, okay? However, if I'm diligent in this new story and I stay here and I keep affirming Team Pink Shirt, sometimes I go back to Team Blue Shirt, but then I come right back to Team Pink Shirt, I'm going to start seeing evidence of that Team Blue Shirt turning a little bit pink, putting a little bit of pink into the mix. What does that mean? Purple shirt's coming out. Team purple shirt is a blending of the two, okay? This is this process where I'm choosing a little bit of this and choosing a little bit of that and choosing some of this and choosing some of that. Because the fact of the matter is, is I can't have both. I can't have this while affirming this. So if I'm offering a steady beacon of pink, I'm gonna be getting some pink. But if I swing back to blue, there's gonna be this back and forth flow of some pink actions and some blue actions and then some pink actions and then some blue actions. This is what I mean by team purple shirt. I mean this blending period where you're getting a little bit of this and a little bit of that, okay? This is okay. This is not something to fret about or to worry or to think you're doing it wrong, to think it's only a partial manifestation. Think of it more as a premature manifestation, right? Because it just means we're simply not done yet, okay? The fact that we're not able to focus long enough on Team Pink Shirt for it to show up consistently shows that we are not offering a clear enough signal. We're not staying in the mind frame of the version of us that has them as the healthy, happy, whole version, okay? We are not selecting them as the version that we choose enough to kind of create the momentum to pull them all the way over. A lot of times we're taking stock too much in the 3D reality, right? We're manifesting this one, but we're noticing that it keeps being blue shirt. And this is why it's going back and forth, blending, 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 and not emerging as pink shirt as much as we would like. So make sure that once you start writing this new story with completely team pink shirt, completely this new manifestation, completely this idea of who they are, happy, healthy, whole version, doing exactly what it is that you want. And this doesn't have to be with a person. This is for anything in the world. You need to think of it, even yourself, self-esteem, money, job, clothes, house, friends, whatever. You need to think of it the way you want it to go and only that way. If it's on your mind, it needs to be going down in a way that you wouldn't mind it playing out in your real 3D life. And that's the secret to manifesting. That's really all you have to do. Literally, honestly, that's the answer to all of it. Simply and only think of things in a way that you wouldn't mind them showing up. There, shut the channel down. Shut it down, that's all we need to do, we're done. Turn, turn the lights down and go home, because that's it. We just solved the whole thing right there. All you have to do to manifest is only think of things in a way that you'd like them to show up in your 3D world. That's it. That's literally all it is. That's the only thing you have to do. And if you catch yourself not thinking of things in a way that you'd like them to show up, then change it back to a thought that works for you. That's it. Don't settle on a thought that doesn't work. Just don't. Just don't let yourself be diligent. Be on top of it. Be disciplined. That's the answer, okay? That's all it takes. And I say all like it's like it's super easy. It's not that it's easy, but it is simple. Pay attention to your thoughts and don't let yourself settle on shit that doesn't work for you. It, it doesn't get any easier than that, guys, seriously. So I want you to comment down below. I will remain focused in my mind until it shows up in my world. I will remain focused in my mind until it shows up in my world because we need to remember that it's our perception and conception of reality that creates it and perpetuates it. So if I only think about things that work for me, if I only think about things in a way that aligns with where I'm going, if I only think about things in the way that the version of me that already has it is thinking about it, how can I say this in an easier way? Let's see. 
if I only think about things in a way that I like to experience them, then I will never be unhappy again. You could never be unhappy if you only think about things the way you want them to go, honestly. That's the secret to life and happiness. So practice it. Be very on top of it. Only entertain things in a way you'd like them to go and see what happens in your life. And if you're skeptic about it, I guarantee it's because you do not think of things in the way that you'd like them to go. You think about all the other ways that they could possibly go just so you can be prepared in case something happens to you. Well, guess what? Survival mode is not thrival mode, okay? You cannot thrive while you're trying to survive. That is a fact of nature. It takes more energy to survive than it does to just chill. And that energy cannot be used for a prolonged period of time. There has to be a rest after a while. You cannot expend so much energy and not refill your cup and not take a break. That's just not how human beings work. That's not how the biology of this planet works. Just like energy and water, there's always an ebb and a flow. And if there is a flow, there's bound to be an ebb. And if there is an ebb, there's bound to be a flow. So go along with the way things are going. Don't fight it. Just think about things in a way that you'd like them to go down. We don't have to do anything out of the ordinary or anything hard. We just simply have to entertain things in a way that works for us. And then... We just get things that work for us. That's it. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with things just working out for me. Yeah, I'll take a couple of those things. If you'd like help getting into the mindset where you can start to change all of your thoughts to think in a way that works for you, you can download my 30 Days of Alignment Challenge. It is completely free and it is what helped me change my thinking and ultimately my life. That is in the description below. And you can also join my Facebook group, Black Moon Society. It's a great community for people who are manifesting and supporting each other through their manifestations. That link, of course, is in the description below. And don't forget, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching so we can discuss exactly how you can learn how to focus Focus only on what it is that you want. You can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching at my website, roxytalks.com. And we've also got super exclusive merch, podcasts, and blog at roxytalks.com. The link, of course, is in the description below. Here on the Roxy Talks channel, I go live every Monday at noon-ish PST for Q&A, and I've got brand new videos out every Tuesday through Friday, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible, and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.